Quick visual tidbits. Black performers under the big top. Black circus performers can be found throughout circus history, from the 19th century to the present. In fact, in 1999, Jonathan Lee Iverson, at the age of 20, became the first African-American ringmaster in American circus history. Blacks were clowns, acrobats, equestrian performers, animal tamers, musicians, and magicians, just to name a few. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Miss Lala, she was born Anna Olga Albertina Brown in the now Polish city of Stettin on April 21, 1858, to interracial German parents. Brown was a circus performer known as Miss Lala, who performed at the Cirque Fernando in Paris. Beside Miss Lala, she also performed under various names such as Olga the Mulatto, Olga the Negress, the African Princess, and the Venus of the Tropics. Miss Lala was an aerialist and all-around circus performer. In 1888, she married American circus performer Manuel Woodson. The couple had three daughters together who followed in their parents' footsteps and became circus performers. Brown was immortalized by famed 19th century artist Edgar Degas in his work Miss Lala at the Cirque Fernando in 1879. He depicts her suspended from the rafters of the GT Circus Dome by a rope clenched between her teeth. Our next performer was famous twice over. Pablo Fanke was a successful individual and circus patron. Besides being an English equestrian performer, skilled juggler, and adept acrobat, he was also a circus proprietor. Fanke was the first black person to own a circus in Britain and probably the world. His birth name was William Darby. He was born in Norwich. In 1967, he gained fame again when the English band The Beatles mentioned him in their song, Being for the Benefit of Mr. Kite, from their album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. John Lennon wrote the song after he found a poster in a Seven Oaks antique shop advertising a February 1843 benefit put on by Fanky for Mr. Kite. Fanky was married twice. His first wife, Susanna Darby, died in an accident in Leeds when she was hit on the head by heavy planks from a collapsing gallery that seated 600 people. They had one child together, a son named Lionel, who was a tightrope performer. Later, Pablo married 22-year-old Elizabeth Corker, a circus rider, in 1848. They would have two sons, both of which entered the family business. Pablo Fanke died on May 4, 1871, in Stockport, England. Astley's Mr. Pablo Fanke and his trained steed, Illustrated London News, 20th of March, 1847. The 1848 benefit poster that inspired John Lennon's song, being for the benefit of Mr. Kite. And now we have a clown with no name. Chocolat, whose real name is not known, started life enslaved in the Caribbean island of Cuba, where he was born around 1868 to a slave woman in Havana. This man with no name would become the first black celebrity in France. He performed under the stage name Chocolat the Clown. Finally, we have two lion tamers. The first being Arthur Williams, a former sailor from the Caribbean, was a famed lion tamer in Victorian Britain. He was known by the stage name Martini Macomo. And Ledger Delmonico was another African-American lion tamer for Edmonds Menagerie. In his biography, he wrote that he worked for the Folies Bergere in Paris. As you can see, blacks have a long, rich history as circus performers. It's a legacy that continues with the Universe Soul Circus, established by African-American Cedric Walker in 1994. Until the next show... For E.I. Marsher, now you've been tidbitted.